Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to review the 5.8 GHz SWR meter from our RC. Now let me quickly unbox it, get the accessories out of the way and the instructions manual. And this is the good stuff. Alright, this is the SWR meter and it fits nicely in my palm. There's only one outlet here, which is um, RPSMA. I've got the RPSMA one. And this is the port for you to connect the 3S LiPo pack and power on and off switch. All right, let me hook up the LiPo pack. I have a 500 mAh, a very small 3S LiPo pack. And here I have the JST to XT60 connector, which should fit right in. And let me power it on. Oh, it looks pretty nice with a touch screen here. And it has a scan mode. Okay, so this is the meter that we will be using. Now let's hook up the first antenna that I have here is my favorite one, the crosshair antenna. Um, I'm having RPSMA and this is SMA, so I'm going to need to use the adapter. So this crosshair antenna is the only antenna among the three, which is handmade. Okay, let's do a scan. Wow, it's, it's really good. So it says here the SWR at its lowest is actually 1, which is perfect. But we know there's no such thing as a perfect antenna. So anyway, let us compare this uh, measurement with the measurement taken from the lab. This is the measurement of the crosshair antenna. For the crosshair antenna, it um, has a very good reading, even though it's a handmade. You can see that uh, it has a good VSWR at uh, 5.23. That's the first dip. Second one is uh, 6.24. Third one is 15. And the last one is at 18.6 GHz. So the one we are interested would be the 5.8, which is here. So let me zoom in. Okay, the white stripe on the extreme left, that would be 5645, which is negative 13 or so. And on the extreme right, that would be 5945 frequency and 5945 we are getting about uh, negative 16 right there negative 15 is a uh, VSWR of uh, about 1.5 and if we go any lower than that it should be better than 1.5 so it should be between 1 to 1.5 on this meter, it says that 5645 has a better frequency response, better performance. But according to the lab equipment right here, in fact, we should be getting better performance at uh, 5945. So that's a bit of a discrepancy there in terms of reading. Let's try the immersion RC patch. This is also one of my favorite because of the small size. Heat scan now. Let's do auto. In the 5.8 range, it looks like um, 
there's a, some kind of a U although it's not very clear it's not very obvious in this curve but it's a gentle U shape and the best frequency response is uh, 5, 6, 8, 2 somewhere here now let's take a look at the measurement that we got from an expensive professional equipment from the labs so S11 curve shows that uh, the immersion RC patch has got only one dip right there and it's at spot on at 5.83 gigahertz so this is amazing good job immersion RC so basically there's uh, no dips elsewhere in the entire spectrum all the way to 20 gigahertz there's only one dip right there at 5.83 gigahertz and as compared to the SWR curve that we see earlier it's pretty close to anything this is a uh, BSWR curve uh, hang on let me zoom in yep and yeah this is it it's minus 18 for the emission RC patch they say that without the termination of uh, 50 ohms here you will not get a good performance out of this antenna and I have that so let's plug it in So the marker is uh, 5657, that's the frequency that you get the best VSWR. VSWR is uh, 1.27. Okay, let's take a look at the measurement from the lab. It's interesting to note that the triple feed patch actually has uh, got three dips. It will perform well for 5.57 gigahertz. 8.05 gigahertz and 10.45 gigahertz let me zoom in yep so if you look at the white stripe um, the left side of the white stripe would be uh, 5645 and for 5645 we have a very low VSWR of in this case uh, measured in DB will be minus 25 and if you use the frequency of 5945 it's uh, about minus 17 so from minus 17 to minus 25 here minus 17 and minus 25 for 5.8 GHz range basically minus 15 is the equivalent of having a VSWR of 1.5 which is pretty good so if we compare this with this the slope is um, going upwards to my right and likewise here alright conclusion is this a good equipment or is it as good as the ones in the lab look at the discrepancy of the crosshair antenna and we are seeing a different result in this frequency range well, for the triple fit patch and the IRC patch, their readings on this SWR meter are not too different from the ones taken at the lab. So, would I recommend this SWR meter? I would still recommend it uh, for hobbyists who are trying to tune the 5.8 GHz antenna. I mean, if you are building antenna and like a helical where you as a coil and you try to adjust the coil you could scan it and just turn on the auto and it will do rap uh, repetitive scans as you are adjusting the antenna bear in mind that this is uh, the same cost like a professional directional coupler so if a directional coupler alone already costs 140 USD you can't expect a lot from an SWR meter that costs the same. 
I hope you enjoy this video and find this useful. Thank you for watching.